reading you loud and clear over the Vanguard for eight minutes. Two story. And you did get the twist out of the line. All complete. That's another thing we solved, and you beat us to it. Spaceship Skylab, the wings of discovery. The Skylab missions were studded with obstacles that became challenges for the crews. Without the constant effort and ingenuity of the men on board, the spaceship would have drifted lifelessly through space, its hopes unrealized, its promise unfulfilled. But because men were there to solve the problems and overcome the obstacles, the flight of Skylab is a resounding success. Whenever a problem occurred, a man was there to solve it. And throughout the missions, the longest in history, men were there to operate the complex scientific equipment aboard the spacecraft, the giant solar telescope, the Earth resources experiments, the materials processing furnace, and the vital medical experiments were all instruments of discovery in the hands of the men who lived aboard the spaceship Skylab. This is the story of those discoveries and accomplishments which are changing the way we look at the world around us. The Skylab astronauts control the solar observatory from this panel inside the spacecraft. Studying the sun may provide the key to an unlimited source of pollution-free energy. Skylab crews have amassed hundreds of hours of solar observations, including more coronal viewing than has been gained in all recorded history from Earth eclipse observations. Aboard Skylab, the sun is unveiling faces never before seen by Earth-bound observers. Scientific textbooks will have to be rewritten because pictures like these have revealed secrets kept for billions of years by the dense, blanketing atmosphere of the Earth. This Skylab picture shows an enormous mass of energy erupting from the sun's surface and extending millions of miles into space. The very instruments which are being used to study the sun are powered by the sun itself. Each second, the sun radiates more energy than has been used by man since the beginning of civilization. Perhaps Skylab discoveries will teach us how better to harness this energy to power our cities and homes with an inexhaustible supply of clean, non-polluting power. While the telescopes of Skylab were trained on the sun, the high-resolution cameras and sensors of the Earth Resources Experiments package were focused on the Earth. These cameras and sensors are designed to take highly detailed pictures of the Earth in several different segments of the visible and invisible spectrum. The Skylab astronauts saw a view of the Earth only possible from their platform in space. The perspective from Skylab may make a major contribution to solving some of the world's most pressing problems. Sources of pollution, agricultural crops, energy and mineral deposits were photographed from Skylab. Different features are sharply emphasized by separate cameras aboard the spacecraft. This picture of a drought area indicates sources of fresh water when seen in infrared. This picture is of the offshore Cape Cod area, a region of potential sources of oil and gas. Geologic analysis indicates possible new ore deposits in this area. This photograph provides an effective and economical way to inventory trees in the national forests. 
Effective use of this picture will save years in mapping inaccessible areas in South America. This view of Puerto Rico reveals potential supplies of sand and gravel greatly needed in that area. For years to come, the wealth of information returned from Skylab will be used to solve problems on Earth. Experiments in the materials processing furnace have proven that the weightlessness of space can produce materials impossible to make on Earth. The basic hardware for these experiments is this furnace that can safely maintain the high temperatures necessary to melt and weld metals into new alloys and substances. Many experiments were successfully conducted with this single piece of equipment. An intense beam of electrons is used to weld, cut, and melt metals for several different experiments. The weightless Skylab environment eliminated the problem of convection currents that sometimes prevent combining certain metals on Earth. This could lead to the formation of metals many times stronger and lighter than anything ever manufactured in Earth's gravity. This crystal was grown aboard Skylab. It's about 10 times longer than any ever grown before. These Earth-grown crystals are about 2 millimeters long. Gravity prevents the formation of larger crystals on Earth. Larger crystals grown in space could reduce the size of electronic components and improve their reliability and efficiency. The materials processing experiments were extremely successful and may lead to entirely new products and industries. Skylab medical experiments are aimed at finding out how man functions in a weightless condition. Exercises like this are monitored carefully to see how space flight affects people differently than life on Earth. Imagine what this would feel like in zero gravity. The men who lived aboard Skylab proved that man can live and work effectively in space and return home healthy and in good spirits. But perhaps the most important discovery made aboard Skylab is the realization that man can not only function effectively on long missions in space, but that we may look beyond our present horizons toward the achievement of goals yet unformed.